And three more. There we go. You know what? I'm just gonna leave this excess honey up here in the bucket. Now then, get one more of these. And then that should do it for this croc. Now how is this food here? It's still good for 1.8 days. It's still fresh for 5 days. And for the time being, let's make like 3 of these. Where's the glass? Did I put the glass in the blacksmithing workshop? Yes, I did. And I need to get the plates here. Three lanterns. I'll just dump you in here. That is kind of annoying though. So now we will get over here, put the lantern. I'm probably forgetting to do something right now. Probably forgetting to do something. Well, I guess it's not probably. I'm definitely forgetting something and I don't remember what it is. That's why I'm forgetting it. Damn. Okay, so let's put you over over here. And let's give you a lantern. Yeah, we'll do the bowls eventually. Okay, these trees were not there before. They probably grew. Now... Am I missing fire clay? No, we do have fire clay. Okay, I still need to do the greenhouse. Let's just put this away for now. Okay. Okay, we got all of these done. So I'm not forgetting about our nutrition. You know what? Let's just bring dirt down here. Oh, it's the sails. Wow, okay. Alright, let's convert these into linen. Let's just put eight sails for now. Get that 40%. Just so this can continue. And actually, we'll take this out. And I think we can add the sails from this distance. Yeah. Just from in here, so we don't have to, like... do it here. And you know what, maybe we should like take off one more layer. Just one more layer. Probably should put the Tin Bronze Lantern here. Now 
Now, since this is still pulverizing, can't really do any sort of work with the health hammer, at least not yet. I just want to focus all of that wind energy on pulverizing stuff. Stow these resources first. Okay, so shale can go here. The shale stones go here. You know what? I have two lanterns already. Let's get these posts. I'll just take the whole stack. We'll just put all of our excess dirt in here. So while that's pulverizing, I think I should work on more pathing. Over to the trader over there and in that direction over there. And what I'm doing is I should put this. Put this back into the thing here. Just so it's not in my inventory. Oh, this is not going into the hopper. Wait, how much is left? Oh, it's actually almost through it. So what I'm going to do is go over to the copper ore cave, pick up the rest of the resources that I left behind there. Get some nutrition in our system. Now what I want to do is put one of the lanterns near the tin cave. It has a storage there as well. And I should also get some more fire clay as well. Like, there's still so much to do in order to get to the, the steel. So I'm always reprioritizing stuff. Okay, let's put a lantern here. Light up this area. This way it'll be easier to see during the night. Here's our copper ore cave. You know what, let's light this as well. And did I call this the copper ore cave? Because I meant to say iron cave. So, oh, might as well just light it. I did leave a lot of stones in there and we're gonna need that for the stone paths.
Oh, wait a minute. Do, don't I have a fire clay patch near the beehives over here? Near the wild beehive? Like, I gotta double check that. If I look back here, you can see the iron cave, the iron ore cave already lit up there. And our beehives are in that direction over there. I want to get our stones first. We only came here to get our stones. And the torches are done. Let's get our stones here. Clear quartz. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to leave the flax fibers here. We do have a lot of packed dirt as well. We can just leave them there for now. And then the beehive should be around here in this direction. There it is. And we got skeps. They are loaded and here's fire clay. So we can just start digging this. We have two slots left. Maybe we can get rid of the sticks. Or maybe not. I'll just take two stacks for now. And I'll do it. I can't take the scaps, so we'll just go back. I mean, it does help with navigation during the night. The lanterns, I mean. I mean, just look at that. There's the trader over there. There's the copper ore cave, and there's the iron ore cave. And then beyond that is the tin ore cave. Oh, that cave, the copper ore cave is depleted. So we're not going back down there. I mean, yeah, we still need the olivine and the quartz. But there are better places for that. I just don't want to relight that cave yet again. I'm going to be lighting caves. I want to light new caves. Try to figure out what resources are down below. I do have a surface copper node somewhere around here as well. So if I ever need more copper, I can still get it from there. But I do need another copper ore cave. And the windmill is still moving. Oh, starving again. We probably should eat this fruit now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. Where is this? Right, you know what? Let's go in. 
Let's see what's down here. Very complex cave. And let's get rid of the water at least. Like I'm not going to put any torches down. I mean, I said I wasn't going to put any torches down. Oh, but then I put a torch down to get rid of that water. Oh, we found another brown coal deposit. I'm just exploring this real quick. Okay, more brown coal, more quartz, and that's really it. All right, so we have an even closer brown coal deposit if we want to exploit this. And this quartz doesn't have any silver or gold in it. I haven't even found gold. But it's in quartz just like silver except it's not together with the silver. If that makes sense. Anyway, let's go home. And we'll start turning these stones into paths. I just realized, look how bright my base is. Now that everything is covered in snow, it, it looks much brighter because everything is white. And there's the path I'm creating in that direction. Now let's make some more paths. You probably should use the medium fertility soil now. Oh, I guess we still have the low fertility soil. Okay, here we go. Got these for paths. And then we'll put the rest of the paradotite here. I guess we can't. All okay, right, let's put it in here. We got fire clay. Okay, so we're actually low on dirt for the paths. Oh, never mind. Let's take this dirt here. Take all of the spare dirt we have in here. And let's turn them into paths right now. We'll just keep one stack of paths for the time being. Oh, come on. I just walked right into you. Okay, how's this going? What the hell? Weird. All right, I think it's time to reconnect the hell of hammer. Uh, we do this. All right, let's light this on fire. While this is still blowing, might as well just process all of these. And we got some glass here. So let's see here. We got three tiers of refactory bricks. We only have the resources for tier two. Now tier one is just needs the quartz and the bauxite. 
Tier 2 needs Olivine. Tier 3 needs Ilmenite. I believe that's iron. And I think it's by crushing this. Now, limonite is the stuff that we found. That was the medium deposit in the iron ore cave. It's not the bountiful deposit there. And since we haven't been mining that and getting our iron ore from something else, it means we still have lots and lots of this stuff that we can crush. Now, do we crush this directly? Smelts into... Wait a minute, Limonite. Rich chunk that gets crushed or wait a minute double check this I need to <laughs> am I understanding this correctly Ilmenite comes from crushing titanium okay so never mind it's Ilmenite it's titanium Speaking of which, there's titanium in the game, and we have not found that. Alright, let's keep this going. So I just want to make sure to process all of this stuff. Process this stuff first, and then... We will do something else later. In the meantime, I do need to make these tier 2 refractory bricks. Like, what are the stats on this? Bakes into refractory brick. So it has a heat resistance of 95%. Tier 1 has a heat resistance of 90%. And then tier 3 has a heat resistance of 99%. So we're doing the tier 2s first. And for that we need fire clay. Need quartz. Need crushed bauxite. And we need crushed olivine. And we got 64 of these. Right, gotta keep this going. Right, where is our fire clay? Oh, it's in back in the house. So we can do one, one, one more stack of refactory bricks. Then once we got those, we'll fire it up. See, this is part of the reason why I saved the fire clay like that instead of turning them into more fire clay bricks so I can make these refactory bricks and wait wait no it's in this container so put them here And we fire these up. Put one charcoal in here. Just for now. Just to save on that brown coal.
Uh oh. This is getting too cold. So you know what? Let's try to speed this up a bit. Yeah, that sped that up by quite a lot, it looks like. And this is too cold now. So you know what? Let's put this in here. No, this really does speed it up. If I'm not doing anything else. Yeah, those heavy hits really speed this up. And I should fire this up now. Now, what else should I be doing besides this? Okay, fire up the next one. Okay, so the refactory bricks are supposed to go into these. 